Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing right, man. I do have some complaints, but not for this particular video. In the meantime, though, I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, former The Queen Mzansi actress speaks about a new role. Zandile Msutwana is counting her blessings as she has landed a new role after Mzansi Magic's The Queen was canned. Now the actress will be appearing on Klebecha The Empire which is replacing The Queen on Mzansi Magic. Now the last episode of The Queen aired last week Friday and Klebecha The Empire will premiere today on the 16th of January at 9pm. Now speaking to the papers, the 43 year old actress said the following, I am lucky and blessed but I worked hard for it. I am looking forward to more but I understand opportunities like these don't come easy to South African actors and actresses. As much as it looks like I jumped from one show to the next, it didn't happen like that. I stopped the queen in March and we started filming the new show in November. Geez, so it seems like she had a couple of months there where she wasn't even working at all. She goes on to say, I had a number of months where I wasn't working and that's the norm in the industry. Now Zandile who played the role of Wuyi Swa on The Queen said that she hoped viewers would not compare her old role to her new one. Now on the new show, she will be playing the role of a cop. She goes on to say, coincidentally, this show is in the same time slot. What makes me scared is the challenge of being in the same slot and people thinking I'm playing the same role. I hope people will embrace the change. Now she was asked about her new character. Now she said that she didn't want to share much because she wanted people to see for themselves. Well, which is the norm. I mean, I don't think that she will come through and start spilling all the beans before the show even kicks off. And when it comes to people actually comparing her to a previous role or whatnot, I mean, I know that if you have a very iconic role, like, you know, a lot of people who had those roles on Generations, Abo Achi Moroka, Abo Queen Moroka type of things, that they still have that character attached to them even to this day. The Queen, I mean, was the Queen uh, sort of like generation type of uh, level? I mean, get in the comment section down below and let me know. But yeah, definitely can't wait to see the show. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Dr. Malinga warns Makadzi. Dr. Malinga has had it with Makadzi after she allegedly disrespected him after a show. Now, Dr. Malinga claimed on Facebook that he was treated badly and she used his name to bump up attendances at the show. So Dr. Malinga took to Facebook and posted the following. Stop using people for your own benefit. God is watching you. Aha, uh -huh, quite a stern warning there from Dr. Malinga. So yeah, to get a little bit of context here, Makati, who is 26 years old, booked Dr. Malinga, who is 42 years old, for an event that was held at the Makuva Stadium on October the 1st of last year. But months later, Dr. Malinga is coming out and claiming that he was not treated well at the show. And of course, like I've said, he's taken to Facebook, warning her that God is watching her. Now, he did end off the post with a thanks, bye. But yeah, people have actually come out and defended Makati and said that she actually helped them during hard times. Dr. Malinga hit back and said, guys, you never asked me what happened when I was booked at Makati's one woman show. Please ask, I will tell you. Now, Makati responded to Malinga's allegations via Facebook. Now, she wrote, my brother, I respect you. Besides being a musician, you are a father and a husband to your wife. I don't know if this is a PR stunt or what because you have my number look i will say this is very weird for me when my cards is like i you have her number but uh, she's also known for actually going on rants on social media it's like the orange calling an apple a fruit right in essence, they are the same, right? Is that how the saying goes? But moving right along, Makadzi went on to say that if he was talking about the show, he was the first person to be booked. Makadzi said that she made sure that she took money from her own pocket to pay Dr. Malinga. Makadzi also went on to say that her team didn't want her to add more people to her lineup and she did this out of the goodness of her heart. 
But since then, Dr. Malinga has come out and told the papers that there was actually no arrangement in place or agreement in place. He goes on to say, I know Makati and from time to time we talk. But towards the end of last year, she announced on social media that she was looking for me. I was surprised because she and her team have my number, but I just carried on with my life. See what I mean by the fruit calling the other fruit a fruit? But yeah, uh, Dr. Malinga goes on to say that when she finally contacted him and asked her to be a part of her show he agreed he goes on to say i agreed that i wouldn't charge her for the gig i did not bill her because i treat her as my sister so we agreed that she'd give me whatever amount she felt reasonable so she gave me thirty-five thousand rands now on the day of the event dr malinga traveled to venda he goes on to say my problem started after my performance she treated me like a nobody she was no longer talking to me i wasn't necessarily looking for her attention but I needed details for my accommodation. I later realized that she didn't book accommodation for me. She couldn't even give me food. All right, now I can understand why Dr. Malinga is fuming if all of that is true. Now, he also goes on to say that he tried to go to the VVIP section, but he was not allowed to go inside. He goes on to say, so I am angry with her. I exposed her so people can see who she really is. I expose her, Dr. Malinga, expose her. I will say this, this does seem like a personal matter, a personal issue between Dr. Malinga and Makadze. Hopefully they do hash things out though. Our next topic, Mampinche's mother Zama Kumete passes away. The family of Zama Nguni Kumete, the mother of late Manja Mapumulo aka Mampincha, has passed away. Now Mampinche's mother reportedly passed away on Sunday the 15th of January, so yesterday at the Wentworth Hospital. Now she was 64 years old at the time of her passing. Zama Kumete's death comes a few days after the burial of her son Gom superstar Mampincha. Now reports suggested that she had suffered a stroke and was hospitalized at the Wentworth Government Hospital in Durban just recently. Now we did do a video about that and uh, yeah people were coming through you know wishing her well and they're also well wishes on social media but yeah not so long ago Pinky Kumete her daughter Mampinche's sister told the papers that she was later diagnosed with TB and they were waiting for the results to come back to let them know what type TB she had. Now Pinky has come through and confirmed to the media that Zama Kumete has indeed passed away. This is the statement that she gave. Now that she's gone I can see that she wanted to bid farewell to us. She told me she was old and that she was leaving. She asked if everyone was around and I said yes. She wanted to see Sponge, Mampinche's son and I told her he was not around. I could see the sadness in her eyes and she did not say anything. She gave us her blessing and we spent some time with her. We then left. At about 10, I received a call informing me that she is dead. Now Pinky goes on to say that she was actually in high spirits and she told them jokes even though she was at her deathbed. But yes, the pain of losing her brother as well as her mother just days apart has left Pinky heartbroken. Now she said that they are not financially prepared for this as Mam Pincha took care of all the policies. Now a few days ago Pinky actually spoke to the papers and said that their mother still asked for him and that she had to lie and say that he is at the airport. Now Pinky also goes on to say that her health was not in the best state as she needed assistance with walking and performing other duties. At the time she was quoted as saying even now she is still asking for Mandla and I've had to tell her that he is at the airport. She needs a private hospital and a psychologist to help her deal with the trauma so she can move on. At the moment we do not have money to give her special health care and we are appealing for help. We had to help her to walk but now she is worse. The doctor says her liver has been affected and she also had been diagnosed with a stroke but her stroke is not bad she will not be disabled if she takes her medication she has not been able to eat properly and that is affecting how she takes her medication so that was the update a few days ago but yeah Mampinche's mom's death comes at a time where she and her in-laws had completely buried the hatchet Nondumiso Simelane Bebzotumo's sister allegedly did not believe that Zama Kumete was sick because her family 
family did not report this matter to them. Babe's sister is quoted as saying the following, if she was really sick, Binky would call us and tell the family. Why has no one phoned us? Binky has a big problem. She is the evil sister-in-law that nobody wants. She wanted to choose a wife for Mandla and when that didn't happen, she made sure she made life difficult for everyone. Babes even tried to make peace with the mother-in-law but Binky got in the way of that. Babes sent groceries during the funeral arrangements but she is still ungrateful. She is going around telling people we received Mandla's life cover but we didn't. She is evil. I will say this, it's always a sad thing when people pass on and then you hear this bickering, you know, people fighting over estates, policies, things of that nature. It's like, can't we just be civil for the people that have left? And can't we just mourn our loved ones in peace? <laughs> But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.